Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this is Mu'iz Bukhari, recording for the Daily Reminder Network. As human beings, all of us, we fall sick at some point or the other. But if we believers, if we bear patience through our sicknesses and if we seek reward through it, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make our sicknesses a means of expiating our sins. Hadith is in Bukhari and Muslim. Rasulullah is reported to have said along the lines of these words. No fatigue, no worry, exhaustion, distress, harm or any other affliction were to befall upon a believer. Not even a thorn, not even a thorn, Allahu Akbar, that pricks a believer except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives or expiates some of his sins thereby. Look at the mercy of our beloved maker, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is also reported to have said along the lines of these words, treat your sicknesses for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has not created a disease except that he has also created a cure for that disease. Except for one disease. Now I know you might be thinking, okay, now what disease is this? Is it cancer? Is it AIDS? So likewise, the Sahaba, Ridwan Allah Ta'ala alayhi majma'een, also asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam very eagerly, Ya Rasulullah, which disease is this, this one disease? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam then clarifies, it is old age. The hadith is recorded in Tirmidhi. So my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, remember that every disease, every disease has a cure. It is just up to us to find that cure. So for today's episode, inshallah ta'ala, we will be touching on a few but important prophetic medicine. Number one on the list is honey. Honey, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, is a cure that we believers need to turn to for most of our diseases in accordance with the teachings of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam because it is an amazing cure. Our maker rightfully states in the Noble Quran in Surah An-Nahl, يَخْرُجُ مِن بُتُونِهَا شَرَابٌ مُخْتَلِفٌ أَلْوَانُهُ فِيهِ شِفَاءٌ لِلنَّاسِ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَةً لِقَوْمٍ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states that there comes forth from their bellies, the bellies of the bees, a drink that varies in color. Fihi shifa nas, wherein is a shifa, a healing for mankind. Allahu Akbar. Our beloved Master Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said, Alaykum bi shifa It is upon you all to resort to two cures, to two remedies. And what are they? Al asl, number one, honey, wal Quran, and the Quran. Allahu Akbar. Next in line is Al-Hijama, which is cupping. Cupping is the process of drawing blood from one's body using heated cups to relieve internal congestion. There is a particular narration where the Prophet ﷺ is reported to have said along the lines of these words that when I was taken on the night journey, the night journey of Isra and Mi'raj, I did not pass by any group of people except that they said to me, O Muhammad ﷺ, inform your nation to do cupping. Allahu Akbar. This narration has been recorded in the book of Imam Ibn Majah rahimahullah, and there are other narrations to strengthen this particular narration. There is another narration which has been recorded in Bukhari and Muslim where the Prophet ﷺ was treated with cupping due to migraine that he was suffering from. So cupping is also a good cure that we need to resort to in accordance with the teachings of the Prophet ﷺ. The next two prophetic medicines in line are black seeds and ajwa dates. Two narrations which have been recorded in Bukhari and Muslim. Number one, the Prophet ﷺ is reported to have said that in the black seed there is a cure for every disease except death. And the other narration, the Prophet ﷺ is reported to have said that whoever begins his day by eating seven ajwa dates, seven ajwa dates, no poison or magic 
will be able to harm him. Historians mention that Ajwa dates is a type of dates that is blackish in color and it was initially sewed by the Prophet ﷺ himself in Medina. This is the type of dates, a very tasty and uh, blackish type of a date, Ajwa dates. Next in line is Ma'u Zamzam, Zamzam water, Allahu Akbar. It is indeed a very blessed type of water and it, it is an amazing cure for many sicknesses as was taught to us by Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Scholars rahimahumullah also teach us that Ma'u Zamzam lima shuribala, that the water of Zamzam is for what it is drunk for. If you drink it with faith, conviction and belief, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring about amazing cures through that blessed water. And it is not only for physical diseases, it is even applicable in regard to psychological diseases, marital issues, jinn possession, black magic, evil eye and many other diseases. Say in a marital bond, if two spouses are having problems, then scholars advise them to drink zamzam water intending that their problems should be resolved and Allah Azza wa Jal will bring about amazing results if they drink it with full conviction and belief that it will work insha'Allah ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us all from such problems. The final action item that I would like to teach you all is something that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us, an amazing action item. Hadith is in Muslim. Once a Sahabi radiallahu anhu went to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and complained to him in regard to a pain that he was suffering from. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam advised him to place his hand on the part where he was uh, feeling that pain and to say Bismillah thrice in the name of Allah thrice and then he taught him to say A'udhu billahi wa qudratihi min sharri ma ajidu wa uhadir. Let me repeat. A'udhu billahi wa qudratihi min sharri ma ajidu wa uhadir. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught him to say this seven times. You're supposed to say this particular dua, this supplication, seven times. The meaning is... I seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the power of Allah azza wa jal from the evil that I am experiencing, that I am fearing and I am worrying about. Min sharri ma ajidu wa uhadir. Allahu Akbar. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, let us revive these amazing sunan of our beloved master Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and trust me you will see amazing results because these are divine teachings of our beloved master Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam وَمَا يَنْطِقُ عَنِ الْهَوَى He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam does not speak out of his own desires إِنْ هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَى What he says is divine revelation from Allah Azza wa Jal So these are the words, these are the teachings of our beloved master Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam We must have full conviction and belief and practice these teachings Insha'Allah ta'ala you will see amazing results Please don't forget to share this video around as much as possible to share in on the reward and also to inspire an amazing Sunnah revival Jazakumullahu khair wa akhir da'waya and alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.